Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. Today I'm out working on the Bronco. I've had a header gasket leak here for quite some time and I've been kind of putting off changing the gasket out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But today I decided is the day. I've went ahead and pulled all the bolts out. Getting them out is a lot easier than putting them back in. I got them all out and pulled my gasket out, or most of my gasket. Right here is where it was leaking. You can see the black soot coming out. But when you take it off, all around them, every exhaust port part of the gasket stayed behind. So I'm just going to scrape it off. And I've had a lot better luck with these gaskets. These are Mr. Gasket. This is part number 7410G. And this is just aluminum, multi-layer aluminum. That's what I have on the other side. I originally bought it for the other side. It doesn't have the this type of gasket material to uh, blow out and leak. It's just all aluminum. So if your bolts do back out and your gasket does start to leak, it won't just blow the gasket out. It'll just simply leak and then you tighten it up and it'll seal back up again. So that's what I'm going to do right now, let's go ahead and get this one on, and first I'm going to scrape it off, so first thing I got to do is get the header back a little bit, get a scraper in there and try to clean it up as best I can. All I'm using is just a sharpened putty knife. Probably be better to take the spark plugs out. But as you can probably hear from the wind, we have a front coming in. I'm trying to hurry up and get this done as quick as I can because, amazingly enough, all of my garage space is tied up and I'm working outside. Okay, I got everything scraped off. The header side had the metal part of the gasket, so uh, it is fairly clean. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the new gasket in and get the two end bolts started. And then we're going to go through. This is the hardest part of header installation is trying to get all the bolts started. I've had this gasket for a while and it's been leaking and it's been annoying. But after working on the Mustang at death, 460 with the headers that just had me kind of gun shy of I didn't want to work with headers again for a while because it took me so long to get those back in So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the gas now what we can do is go ahead and start the end two bolts on The headers and leave enough space in this gasket can slip right down in there So that's what we're gonna do first here Got the front one started Still got enough space to slip the gasket in there, hopefully. Just a couple of threads going. Just had to have a pry bar in there. Down here to where the motor mount is, up through here. And just kept wiggling it until I got it close. Hopefully I can get the back one started in a similar fashion. And then we'll just have six more to go. Not sure how that happened, but I have the bolt started back there. Uh, just pried, pried, had to pry it back a little bit to get it to line up. Wasn't as bad as I thought, so 
Looks like a couple threads are started. We're gonna go ahead and slip the gasket in now. Well, that kind of sucks. This gasket is too thick and not flexible enough, so it will not slide in there. So I'm gonna have to at least get the front one off. I'm hoping I can at least leave one of them in. And I'm gonna take the front one off now and try to see if I can get enough room to get it down in there. Okay, with the front bolt out and just the back bolt in, I was able to wiggle the header enough to get the gasket to shimmy down in there. Now I'm kind of back to square one on this front one. I'm going to have to pry it forward and get it restarted again, which kind of sucks. So at this point, the front one is pretty hard to get. Got another one in. I'm just going to keep using pry bars and wiggling the header. The headers aren't connected here at the end. They're just on each cylinder and there's a space between them. So you got a little bit of flex. So what I have to do is just keep wiggling with the pry bar until I get the holes to line up. And I'm going to have to do that probably for every one of them. Some of these are a little tricky. I've got these ones started. I can't get these, and when I try to pry this header tube over against here, it wants to pull out. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up a little more so that I'll be able to start my threads on this one when I pry it over. Because when I'm prying over, it seems to pry it out a little bit. So if we snug it up a little, hopefully that'll help. Okay, got them all started now. There is no wrong way to do this. One advantage of having the pipe front end and no inner fenders is I can get in there a little bit better. On a stock front end Bronco, this job would be a lot worse. You can see what I did here to get the front one. I just wrapped this ratchet strap around. I'm going through the grill to my front bumper, and I was able to pull it pretty much exactly where I needed it. It was a lot better than the pry bars. So there's no real wrong way to do it. Just make sure you don't break something when you're doing it. But yeah, we got them all started. I'm going to go ahead and tighten all of them down real good. Then I'm going to let it run for a while. And heat up. And then cool off. Then I'm going to tighten them and check them again. Now when I first put the other side on, I wasn't real happy because it seemed like I was having some exhaust leaks. But after a couple of trips with it and get got them tightened down again, it sealed right up. And then like a couple weeks later, it started exhaust leaking again a little bit and I was able to tighten it up and it was fine and I haven't had a problem since. So that's what kind of got me hooked on this style was when you do have a leak all you have to do is tighten it back down and you should be fine. It's not going to blow out like the other style gasket. So I would recommend these. Uh, I got some tightening down to do now so I'm going to go ahead and get to that. wires back on everything's tightened up really tight we're gonna go ahead and uh, start it and uh, hopefully it's a lot quieter than it was that's a lot better uh, we'll go ahead and do a retort after it heats up and cools but yeah that's a lot better 